When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. You can go and myself. Uh, okay. I'll be there much longer than you. Got a long ass workout. You said what? Got a long workout. You have a long workout? Kind of. You have a long workout, what, it's an hour? Uh, we we'll just, we'll just go separate. So, how I'm gonna do this is I will not be trying to do the whole seven meal day. I'm actually gonna make it more reasonable and uh, either make it a four meal day or split, actually, yeah, just a four meal day. It's probably just gonna be a four meal day because I'm pretty sure the majority of humanity is going to, uh, not even a four meal, probably a three meal for everybody else. Actually, a two meal, how big these freaking meals are. But we're going to try to get a four meal day in, along with the workout, um, and just some work done today, pretty much. And that's how the rest of the week's going to go. I'm trying to make this a little bit more uh, doable for everybody. Um, so you guys who want to try it as well can uh, possibly even make this a part of your daily schedule. Since I'm not doing it fasted, I'm taking protein. I'm gonna also take some carbohydrates as well. We have waxy made starch here. These are fast carbohydrates for the workout. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is the best decision for me to have a good leg workout. Starting out on a workout. So the rocks workout is very intense when it comes to volume and exercise capacity. When I mean exercise capacity, I mean he does a lot of exercises in one workout. Now for this leg training, I was I was looking at it and I'm just like, yo, this is dude, it's, this is absolutely crazy. First off, we start out with a 30 to 50 minute treadmill run walk, where you pretty much I pretty much go to a um, 3.5 miles per hour on an incline of eight for my cardio before the workout. But get this, I messed up. So as you've seen before the workout, I didn't eat or anything. I just took a protein shake, had about uh, 50 grams of carbs from the waxy made starch. And that honestly was not enough <laughs> for me to get through this workout, you know, like I thought I would have. Um, normally I only do about five to six exercises max in a workout and we have about nine to 10 exercises all together. So first off, we have the treadmill, 30 to 50 minutes, and then moving on into the walking lunges. For the first exercises, we are starting out with the walking lunges. Now, I went into this workout very, um, I put my ego aside because I don't do this much volume. Now, we're doing walking lunges for 25 reps, which I'm pretty sure you mean like 26, because 25, that means one, a, one leg got more reps than the other. So I went for 26 reps, of walking lunges uh, for four sets to start off the exercise. And um, usually I won't do walking lunges to start off a workout due to not warming up the knees properly enough. I know I did the treadmill and stuff, got warmed up from that, but I feel like there's a certain amount of work needed to be done to warm up the knees and stuff efficiently before doing something as the walking lunges because they do take a toll. Um, but I just went ahead and did it. Um, felt actually pretty good. The first set was pretty tough on me. I still didn't feel warmed up enough. My knees and stuff were a little bit cold. And uh, after the first set from doing that, everything was good. Was feeling in my glutes, my hamstrings. Um, like I'm, I'm sore, I'm sore right now already after the workout. Uh, so we got that done. Once again, four sets, 20, 26 reps each leg. I'm well, not each leg, 26 reps all together. So that'll be 13 reps each leg uh, for four sets. And then moving on, we're, moving, uh, we're doing leg press. Now the leg press, 
I felt I would have done before the uh, lunges because I feel like a leg press is a very good exercise to start out with to get the legs fully warmed up, you know, from your hamstrings to quads, depending on your your foot width. Um, so that's an easy done for me, you know, about four plates each side, so eight plates all together um, for once again, 25 reps. These are high repetition exercises that we're doing um, for four sets. So for somebody, I would say, you know, normally, you know, not, not like The Rock or anybody, I would just pretty much take his his sets down to three instead of four when doing such high volumes, especially at the exercises that he's doing. And um, that will pretty much carry you on and that would be enough for you to do. It will be more than enough for you to do even still. Then right after the leg press, we have leg extensions, which is a good fit for the placement of the exercises. Leg extensions is another thing that I wouldn't do honestly without my legs warmed up just because you know it still takes a toll on the knees and when you're for a lot of people lock out I don't lock out I do a soft touch soft touch back down soft touch back down and usually leg extensions are something that you want to do in high repetition it's not really something that you're going to do for strength you're not going to do a, a heavy set of eight on leg extensions that's more for for leg extensions is more for formation of the quadriceps rather than building uh, you know, you don't go for a, a max rep on, on these accessory movements, even on leg press. You know, people talk about doing a leg press with one, one rep max and it just, this just doesn't make sense to me or a leg extension doesn't make sense to me either. But the placement of this as the third exercise in this routine was a really good placement for it um, and it allowed me to feel the, uh, have a little bit more muscle connection throughout the rest of the workout. So moving on, now we're going to barbell squats. Now you guys know I normally can squat, you know, up five to 600 pounds, uh, even a little bit above 600 pounds. And I, my legs were already kind of trashed at this point. I'm like, yo, this is a lot of repetitions. I'm putting in a lot of work. And the, the back squats will honestly be my last exercise if this was just a normal day for me for training legs. I'll be done at back squats. So that's why I only did the uh, sets of 225 for 12 reps. Once again, four sets, 225 for, for 12 reps, and uh, that was pretty much enough. That's all I could do. If I tried to do 315, I don't think I would have made it. Now, I know you guys probably be like, oh, Teron, you're strong. I, I don't have that volume capacity um, as you know, bodybuilders and stuff have because they train this way, and usually I go six to eight reps max. Now, if we were doing six to eight reps, you know, for for the squat, then I would have been doing uh, 315 to 405 for three to four sets, which I could do. But doing that four sets of 12 reps was a little bit too much, and uh, I kept the weight down once again. Put my ego aside, still felt good. Threw some plates under my uh, my heels, so. I could actually get a little bit more depth because I didn't have my squat shoes. And uh, so if you guys who have hip issues or mobility issues, you know, putting something under your heels, the little plates um, allows you to grab a little bit more depth in your squat because I don't like to squat and have to like catch myself. I just like to jump all the way down and come up ATG. So next up is something that I really don't do much, the hack squat. Um, I really don't know how to get into a comfortable position for myself for some reason it just really bothers my back i have a really huge arch in my back so when i'm trying to do the hack squat i really don't know if i want my back against the pad or off of it um and it was kind of so so this day um i ended up having my back pretty much off the pad and putting myself more at an angle um, rather than like being like pretty much being in a more of a squat position I was in more of a incline incline like 45 degree angle um, when doing that hack squat and I felt a little bit more comfortable was a little was able to get a slight more depth with these for some reason I just can't get as low as I want to um, just due to a certain hip mobility that I don't have but in all it was still something that I was still able to accomplish and um, then moving on to the single leg hack squat, which was pretty much like a, it was almost like a single leg squat slash good morning-ish kind of movement for me. Um, I really want to focus on hitting the hamstring and glute as much as possible when doing these. These are definitely good for anybody who, who doesn't have that single leg strength like they need. If you don't have um, a good squat, I feel like doing these uh, exercises like this will definitely help you build that balance in, um, from your legs. 
to help you uh, build that strength and um, on both sides of the body that you really need to have a bigger squat or to even build um, you know the leg size or you know hamstring size glute size you want to be able to separate the the muscles when it comes to doing these leg movements and what I mean by that is sometimes we focus on doing a lot of double double leg movements you know like squat or front squat whatever and we don't do the single leg and we don't have a balance in our muscle from one leg to the other then we have romaine deadlifts um, so pretty much I mean straight leg deadlifts um, you have a slight bend in the knees it's not really a straight leg it's straight leg but it's not straight leg there's a slight bend in the knees you're gonna feel a huge stretch in the hamstring when doing these exercises and you want to power up and squeeze with your glutes you don't want to just use your back to pull up you want to get a nice stretch on the hamstrings squeeze the glutes as you come up and then go back down but you don't want to come all the way you're just coming up nice little nice and little soft uh, lockout and then right back down and for these it was a uh, four sets of ten so seated leg curls is honestly one of the leg curls that I, I really hate I'd rather do lying leg curls I'm not sure why he chooses to do seated leg curls I guess that's pretty much all he has but the seated leg curls is a lot harder um, for me to really contract my um, my hamstrings on uh, because I feel a lot more in my calves rather than my hamstrings when you pull you're pulling in that calf and then the the contraction in my hamstring isn't as strong as i would have it rather than um, when i'm doing a lying leg curl you know, with the lying leg curl you're flat out and you're literally just you have your butt up slightly a little bit you brace the core and then you pull from there you can't do that with the lying leg curl so it's not something that i would choose but it still got the work in. I was still, you know, I did it just because that's what was on that. What that is what was on the program. Uh, three sets of 20. I would normally do a high set repetition of hamstring curls, and I would actually do hamstring curls for a strength set as well. Uh, sets of eight. Um, so that's something to keep in mind for those who would want to add in the leg curl to their routine. And last but not least, the thigh abductor really good for hip strength especially for somebody like me lateral movement trying to do athletic movements and stuff you definitely need hip strength to help you push yourself you know left and right or whatever and um helps you definitely build the glutes the outside area of the glutes you get that hard rock firm <laughs> um glute work when you do these so this is something that i feel like a lot of men themselves don't do just because i feel like they see women do that and that's just a woman's machine and it's not you definitely need to work the outer and inner thighs 100 percent it needs to be done and it will help you have a more stable squat as well so in all the exercises um are really good um there's a few things like i said in the when i was talking about it all that i would have changed but in all it's a really good workout i was supposed to eat breakfast after the treadmill so after the 30 to 50 minutes of treadmill he eats breakfast and then he goes to the workout, which would have been a lot more beneficial for me because by the time I hit the fifth to sixth exercise, I was pretty much trashed and done. I got to a point to where I felt like the more I did, I wasn't doing much, you know, much for myself. I was just going with it. But it's kind of like that, especially from my athlete's point of view. There's a lot of times where you just, your body just feels like it's done. And you have to mentally be there for the team and, you know, do your part and you just have to pull through. So. It's a good mental workout as well um, that I was still able to pull off. So for those who want to try, the workout is in the description. Let's get back to the rest of the video. Where's the juice juice? So we got 10 ounce steak, two cups of oatmeal, three egg whites, one whole egg. At least we got a whole egg in there. I think I might do two egg whites and two whole eggs. I don't know. Actually, I could do one whole egg, three egg whites. Uh, one glass watermelon juice. So random. Um, what other? Oh, yeah, this is only ten bucks. Yeah, these are these are fifty dollars. This is like the best water bottle ever. She spent fifty dollars on some damn water bottles. Yeah. Fifty dollars. The fifty dollars. You, you messaged me and I was like, you want a hydro flask? Yeah, sure. Fucking I thought it was gonna be like, you know, 10 bucks. Fifty dollars worth just this? Yeah. Then I'm, I'm probably gonna lose it. You better not lose it. I'm probably gonna lose it. 
for some for for a water container. Fifty dollars for a, it ain't even it ain't even come with water. And <laughs> fifty dollars. What the hell? And the accessories so we can drink through the straw there. Yeah, and how much was that? Twenty five? No, these are ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars for that. Better put some damn water in this damn thing. It better be goddamn Fiji water. No, this is like the best it water better, bottle. It better refill itself. This is my third freaking one because I've had them stolen twice. Someone has stole it twice. That's how good these water bottles are. It wasn't that I lost it. What's so good about them? I don't get it. Just because it just like, it's like an insulated, like a good insulated. And you know, I like cold water. Or if you put hot water, whatever, it'll keep it that temperature for literally, like I'll put ice in here and two days later, the ice would still be in here. All right, that's kind of worth it. <laughs> but still, fit the damn dollars. So like, like when I said someone, I like I literally had two of them stolen. Two, so do not. Dollars. When I was gonna get the purple, I didn't want to have the same one. I actually asked for black. There was no black. I, would I was black. looking at a black. I just one. That it was the big sixty-four ounce one. And that is a problem because that one is like ninety dollars. <laughs> Boom. For everybody who was saying on my last video that The Rock does not put seasoning on his stuff, I think you're full of bullshit, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't make his food anyways. Now we're about to season this side as the other side is cooking. Hi. Money, A. Where's my green, A? Y'all know what I mean. Shit hard, nigga. <laughs> Yo, I hate how egg whites they don't mix. It's so nasty. <laughs> like it look, there's no there's no give. There's no, there's nothing. Like I, it's like soup. It's like even with the two eggs, just because I have the egg whites now, it's like soup. It's soup. It's soup. It's surprising how there is nothing. It's just boo-boo, bro. Chase eggs with a lemon. Yeah. Eggs with the lemon. Because the lemon is so strong, so I couldn't taste it. It's more so how easy it just go down for me to just. Uh, it, I know it's the texture that would. Uh, 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 uh. All right, so steak's done. And I'm just trying to get the rest of the food situated. After this, I'm probably going to cook uh, the rest of the day, day's food, once again. I can throw these eggs on here. I can throw these eggs on a minute. You heard it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You giving me these fake ass laughs. I tell if your girl's giving you real laughs or fake laughs. Some girls give you a laugh where they know you talking and it comes to an end point and it's probably something funny they want you, you know, you want them to laugh at. And they just give you this fake laugh. But they really not paying attention to you. My point exactly. Mm -hmm. It's not about to happen. Ooh, that was way off tone. That was horrible. It's not about. It's not. It's not about. It's not about. Oatmeal is too hot. I don't mean you. Steak and plate is on the menu. Eating all the Brock's food is on the menu. Man, you try this, you a fool, not on the menu. Oh, fuck around and know the more food. Oh, fuck around and know the more. Oh, man, they we gon' know the more food. Oh, fuck around and know the more. I bet you The Rock doesn't have his watermelon juice with ice. I bet you he just drinks it up uh, uh, with nothing in it. No ice at all. I do not like steak and eggs together. I think it's disgusting. Let's begin. Clean 
taking my nap now. Huh? Oh, you just waiting on me? Yes. Waiting on me for nap time? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Don't do that. Don't do it. What you do? I'm about to catch a cramp. Your butt all in the film. I know. <laughs> Meal two, just took a nap. Nice little nap. You know what I'm saying? I'm with the shits. <laughs> you better sleep in your eyes. Mm -hmm. That's like better to let it sit. Got the sugars all sugarized. <laughs> the melon all melatized. And the quiche all quiche pie. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so instead of cod, right now for this meal, we're gonna do a nice halibut. A nice, nice halibut. You know what I'm saying? Got that skin. This is my first time eating halibut. I'll try not to put ketchup on it, but uh, yeah, she got her some shrimp, some shrimp skewers, skewers, some shrimp skewers, pre pre marinated, get them toes marinated too, look at them toes, no, get out of there, them marinated toes, <laughs> they need some lotion, ashy marinated toes, with my water, you, making the swimming bros and stuff. The rock, apologies. I was like, watermelon juice is stupid. It's actually pretty tasty. What, what is cocktail sauce? What is cocktail sauce? Cocktail sauce is what? It's used for youth, you, it's used for seafood, right? Right, all right, bet. Check, guess what, it's, guess what it's made with? Ketchup and horseradish. Ketchup and horseradish. So is somebody weird for putting cocktail sauce on seafood? I know you mainly eat it with shrimp, but still. Pull up my britches on this. <laughs> you crack on your ass. Boom! Sizzle. Halibut. Halibut. Boom! Brussels. Sprouts a bit. Sprouts a bit. Boom! Shrimp. Look dead a bit. Dead a bit. <laughs> Why are they so tart? Why are they so small? Because it's not the jumbo ones. Oh, these little small ass things. That's it. Tastes like barbecue. They're like when you burn a bug and it starts curling up. Taste it. These barbecue shrimp? That mm -hmm. sounds nasty. They're not barbecue shrimp. You like them? Yeah, they are. You like them? I think you would. Got a nice little halibut up on that bead. I think so. <laughs> I'm trying to see how a bitch up on that dig. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, look at that. Mm, mm, oh, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Look at. Damn, I can't fucking. I can't beatbox no more. So, honey. I'm never like That's crazy, me. I need to record that so I can send it to my mom. <laughs> We watching JoJo in the season five when they got Jodeci playing. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. It is.
my computer and clear out some stuff. Look at that perfect build. <laughs> It's, it's go time right now, y'all. It's go time. Look at this. Y'all see this? Oh, y'all can't tell me these ain't clean. You can't tell me these ain't clean, man. Got them from East Bay. You know what I'm saying? We on we on some of that that superhero Hercules design looking slash. I don't know. Three stripes, baby. Three stripes, stripes over checks. With the gloves, you know, I like to be golded out. You see, I got the gold, black and gold flip flops. I like to be golded out. Best way to get stuff like this is East Bay. Why, why this hold not? There we go. Yo, I thought this was me for a minute. I thought this was me for a minute. I was like, oh, it's not, oh, y'all. Nah, it's DK Metcalf. Oh, dang. I was like, man. Bro, I've been ordering from East Bay forever, bro. Forever. Especially in college. So much. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. All right. We finally at meal three for the day. We got some ribeye right here. I'm probably going to do about eight ounces of ribeye. Boom. And then we got a cup of rice. One full cup of rice and some asparagus to end the day. Well, this is probably gonna be like the last like cooked meal kind of, and then I'm gonna have some um, cooked whole eggs, not egg whites, and a protein shake. I'm not gonna do the egg white shit. Shit, stupid. I'm not about to have ten juicy ass wet egg whites before I go to bed with some protein. I don't know why the Rock do that to himself. It's not good, bro. It's not good. And I'm going to have some orange juice with this. I don't know why. I like red meat and orange juice together. So that's what's about to happen. Babe got these like... I'm surprised you eat these, how they look. Don't you got like that anamorphia or whatever with the little holes, little... Trifobia. Trifobia. Trifophobia. It, it look like all bunched up together. Ugh, now I want to bite it whole. <laughs> I just want to bite it. Like, I just want to like... Bite it like ugh, my mouth just starts salivating when I see it. I don't know why it's freaking weird. You got big ass Popeyes sweet tea in the back that ain't gonna be actually. I might have some of that with this meal with the orange juice. A combination, a suicide. It's gonna be forever to find out that a suicide is when you mix two drinks together. And I just be, I used to go to McDonald's and I would just fucking freaking just go through every drink and see how it tastes. What's your favorite suicide? What it was? What's your yeah, favorite suicide? Exactly. When you mix like drinks together. Oh, like just any kind of drinks? Yeah. Oh, I used to love mixing Sprite and um, like pink lemonade. Pink lemonade? Yeah. Mine was always well, Dr. Strawberry lemonade, not pink lemonade. Strawberry? I always I did, I did Dr. Uh, I mean, I always did um, a root beer and lemonade. Root beer and lemonade. That was my thing, girl. I ain't gonna say ill root beer and lemonade. What'd you say? Lemonade. What'd you say yours was? Ew. What'd Mar you say yours? Strawberry Fanta? Strawberry lemonade and Sprite. Strawberry lemonade and Sprite. Ew. Root beer and what? Root beer and lemonade. How many times like I said? Oh, that's random. How is that random? The whole concept is random. Like, oh, let me mix strawberry lemonade with Sprite. Well, well, the Sprite gave the strawberry lemonade bubbles. Okay, and it gave it lemon too. <laughs> And lime. Right? Alright, guess what? My root beer only gave it one flavor. Root beer. Right? You always gave it two. Alright then. Well, lemon, lime, and strawberry is a great combo. Lemon, lime, and strawberry is a great combo. Yeah. Okay. Like this. Everything else will be easier and quick. Alright, so you know, you know how I said uh, eight ounce? Yeah, no, we're gonna do a pound. We're gonna do one 
one pound four ounce of ribeye. That's that's what we're gonna do right now because I don't want to cut that, and I'm just gonna have to take it. I'm just gonna have to take it, boo boo. Let me touch your melons. My melons? Oh. <laughs> Once again, easy rice. Easy rice, just pop in the oven. <laughs> oven, I mean microwave. Three minutes. Nice and easy. Now, it's time for this beauty. Look at that. Look at that. It's almost done. Put the asparagus over there, the rice in the microwave. No lights on this side of the kitchen for whatever reason. They put lights all through here. One right there and even one over there. But there are no lights. There are absolutely, uh, they expect us to have one of those big ass old lamps that hover over you know like the, it's like gold and to be like eight legs and to be like over I said it was say what I, said that's what they was I don't know you ever had one of those it's like a like a like a lamp and it got like eight legs with lights at the end like little wigglies yes every black person has <laughs> And look what we have here, a magnificent steak with a side and a cup of rice and a pretty another cup of asparagus on the side. Now this steak is about 1.3, glibs, and uh, we're, uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to eat all of it. I might eat, I might cut like that part off and save it. Alright y'all, just got through doing some work, gaming, my boy Splack's on right now. If y'all don't know, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash fbaftermath, so follow my Twitch channel uh -oh. at Tehran underscore Beckham right here, been on it for years, so definitely check that out, and uh, bada bing bada boom, let's finish this day. Finish the day off with my last meal. All right, so like I said, I'm not gonna be eating these egg whites like The Rock does, but I will be mixing it in with the eggs right here. So we're gonna I'm gonna crack, crack three eggs, and then we'll probably do about three egg whites, um, three servings of egg whites as well. Plant-based protein, vanilla chai flavor right here is what we will be eating, I mean, drinking with my eggs. So about 25 grams of protein, um, 25 grams of protein with this one scoop. And then we have another 25 grams, pretty much a little bit over uh, 25 grams, about like 28 with the eggs to finish off the day. So while the egg's cooking, we're gonna do a protein shake uh, with this organic PB fit. I'm going to add about, let's see, two, two tablespoons of serving protein, 
8 grams of protein in one serving. So I'm going to add 4 scoops of um, peanut butter in there. I'm going to use almond milk. And I'm also going to throw some, uh, some berries in there as well. Boom, and call it a day. Right here, right now, six whole eggs, I mean three whole eggs, three egg whites, peanut butter, protein for my protein, and, uh, and some berries and stuff. Let us get down to business. All right, finishing up, last little bit of my shake. Watch some out of high school. So I appreciate you guys for enjoying, well, for watching this video to this point. If you got to the video to this point, thank you so much. I'm trying to pause it real quick. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want more videos like this, if we can get to 5K likes, that would be awesome. For this video, that would be a big step for me in this channel. And uh, by the time this video is uploaded, I think we finally, I finally beat the curse of 355 subscribers. I've been at 355,000 subscribers since January this year. And I've been losing as many followers as I've been gaining this whole year. So hopefully we've finally broken this curse that I've been dealing with this whole year. And uh, we can get back to growing this channel again. So that being said... Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash FBAftermath. And uh, see you guys again.